Last Thursday, December 12, we went back to Tacloban for the actual set of the work needed as we implement the project for our Build the Tent Church project, which is under our I Love Cornerstone campaign, classifying and contextualizing the scope of work according to the need of every church. We divided the work into two categories, namely rehabilitation of shattered structures and the building of the tent. We disseminated the effort by appointing a team of local pastors who will cover the supervision and the execution of the actual work. Their responsibilities include evaluation of the work to accomplish, distribution of money, budgeting, report of disbursement, documentation, and finally, development report. Here are the list of pastors who will be receiving rehabilitation assistance on house and church structure. Pastor Vadim Matika of Tacloban Full Gospel Church Assemblies of God, Pastor Ignacio Asiseo of Calipayan Baptist Church, Pastor Romel Maraya, House of Prayer Church, Pastor Jerry Acevedo, Lord Jesus Our Redeemer Church, Pastor Marisa Garcia of Shalom Church, Pastor Nora Dacuma of Jesus Christ the Life Giver Church, Pastor Ronald Impang of Living Rock Ministries Family Center, Pastor Alvin Maraya of Christian Life Center, Pastor Ben Rodriguez of Christ the King Church, Pastor Lino Lagaday, and Pastor Arnel Ariza of Dora Faith. There were eight churches who qualified for the 10th church structure, five 100 seating capacity, and three 200 seating capacity 10th church. After our actual ocular visitation last Thursday, these churches have been qualified due to having a lot of space and a property suited for a church structure for their church. Our church will also be adopting two pastors for one year salary or compensation. And finally, we would like to end the year by giving 500 families from different churches in Tacloban with a substantial New Year's Eve grocery item. We would like to thank those who have already supported the Build the Tent Church project through the I Love Cornerstone campaign by buying the cards. As well as, we would like to encourage those of you who have not participated yet to join us in rebuilding the lives of the people in Tacloban and Leyte through the churches. Something that we cannot afford to miss this Christmas as a part of our thanksgiving from sparing us from the calamity and by doing our share in helping those have been severely affected by the super typhoon. Thank you for your kind deeds.